we are going live and I'm watching my little thing spin. But today I want to talk about the world gone crazy and the best body toddy that I know of. So welcome everyone. I'm so excited to see you here today. Why do we need a body toddy? We need a body toddy because we need to take care of ourselves in this body, mind, spirit mechanism. When the world is going crazy like this and all things are wild and not like we knew them even just a few months ago, we need to learn how to settle in and be centered within ourselves. A number of years ago, there was a young woman who ended up have, um, having like four sisters who all died of cancer. And they came to this young woman and they said, what did you do? What were you doing different from all your sisters? And she said, well, every day, she's a Southern girl, she said, every day I was drinking maple syrup and water and baking soda. And she had no sign of cancer in her body. Like, how cool is that? And then there is a, uh, an Italian oncologist named Dr. Simon Cini who could, with an IV, put a baking soda solution or bicarbonata solution into a tumor and in six hours the tumor was gone. Well, why is this happening? Because when we put baking soda together with a sweetener like honey and the cells want that sweetener to come in, cells crave sugar, they bring the, 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 the baking soda, the bicarbonate of soda with them and this is like a Trojan horse because it makes the cell alkaline. I talked about this yesterday too, but this is so important. And I have people writing me all the time and people are stressed. They're kind of going off on different things. And I'm watching the news, the stream, you know, the news feed stream by and seeing how just intense people are getting about everything. We need to really come back to center. And this walk of our walk of mastery in this world is to learn to breathe, smile, and love, but also to teach ourselves how to be centered in these times of great change. So I'm not sure if you can see me. I can't see myself. I'm using a new mic, so I hope you can hear me. And I'm not really seeing any responses from anybody. If you're able to write me a message and say if you can hear me, please let me know. Okay, so the body toddy that I love and have learned to make part of my everyday life. We have this twice a day. It's hot water or agua in Spanish, two tablespoons of honey or miel, one to two tablespoons. Thank you, Nancy Lynn, appreciate that. Um, I just spent the last couple of hours trying to figure out how to do this on my phone, but my particular phone wouldn't reverse the letters for me. So here I am just learning to use the technology. Thank you for, um, for the support. Um, so in this cup of hot water twice a day, once or twice a day, because we've been doing this for a while, so eventually you get yourself more alkaline. Um, but we put hot water, one to two tablespoons of honey, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon to a half. It doesn't take much. It's just a little bit to push us to the alkaline. And you can also, um, and then adding to that, a half to one lemon or lime juice. And you can also order pH tape, pH paper from Amazon for like eight bucks. And you can tell if you're in the range, which would be seven to 7.2. You just pee on it a little bit in the morning and you see what color that paper turns. And you can actually monitor yourself, which is the best way to do it. But I guarantee you, those who are walking, those of us who are walking around in rage, in pain, in grief, and upset and stressed and worried about what is going on in the world, I guarantee you that is an acid condition in the body. It's an acid condition in the cells. This is what causes dis-ease. So in order to flush our bodies, to get a clean body, to bring ourselves into an alkaline state where the higher frequency emotions are of love, of peace, a vision of knowing that good things are coming, of being creators. We need to get ourselves alkaline. So this is a great body toddy. The other thing we can do is carry our water bottle with us during the day. We can put a half a teaspoon of baking soda in it, water, 
And with that, it's really nice to put a half a teaspoon of greens powder at my website, 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. What we drink every day that we love, which comes from the volcanic um, subsoil under a lake in Oregon, is blue-green algae. And we have a special link on our site. If you purchase through that, it actually benefits us and helps keep us going. And also, we like to use C60 Evo. So these are two products that help literally cleanse. So you can use any kind of green powder in your um, in your water bottle, but with a tiny pinch of baking soda, it doesn't even have to be a half a teaspoon. It can just be a pinch. And if you're testing your, um, your pH daily, you'll know about what is the right amount for you. And then um, for us, I've really come to, after many years, we also use wheatgrass powder and other greens in a shake that we have in the morning. But this blue-green algae, mixing a little bit of it with water and using that solution to drink, it's amazing how it's elevating different levels of health for us. Um, and then Cafe Alcalina, which is coffee that we've made alkaline. I like using decaf because I just, I don't even need the caffeine. But the Cafe Alcalina, again, adding a little bit of honey and a little bit of baking soda. And I like to add, a, I make a seed milk out of sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds. And those, that milk, you could use almond milk, coconut milk, something that you enjoy. And that coffee drink is just really wonderful. I mean, you can learn to carry a little container of baking soda around with you and add it when you go to the coffee shop or whatever. So why would we want to do this? I mean, this is a way of renewing ourselves, of balancing ourselves, of bringing us into an alkaline state on the inside. What we want to do is be able to breathe. We want to not feel like we're in panic about all these things going on. And we need to look at what these different scenarios are. What kind of narrative are we believing? Because in the news media, in the media that wants to get people upset, people in, up in arms against each other, the, see, can you tell how this rage is being incited and deepened. And if you've got people living in rage and they're striking out at somebody, remember what we did yesterday. Um, and I did post that, um, my chart under the video in one of the comments. So you can actually download that chart if you want. But literally, we want to cancel, release, and let go any anger, any grief, any pain that's coming up for us. Breathe, smile, and love. Know that these narratives are being painted as a story to help manipulate what's going on in this world. Uh, I see people writing things about the president. How can I even follow this person? Well, if we look at these narratives going on, how many of us know that there is a white hat narrative and there is a black hat narrative? There is change going on on the planet and systems that have been running the world for a long time in a way that society and human culture has been oppressed and has been barely able to get by. Paying taxes to the point where we can hardly even pay for food and our lodging and all of that. All of this has to change. And maybe the old system was good in a way because it helped manage a growing population on planet Earth. But it is time for us to wake up. And there's stories told of the 144,000. There are stories told of the Rainbow Tribe, people of all races and all colors, who will change the course of history on planet Earth. So we are here to be the embodiment of this change. And I just want to encourage all of you. Hi, Felicia. I see your note writing to me. Um, the land beneath our feet is the manifestation of this knowledge. Yes, this is true. And we are, we are the change. We are the change we wish to see. We are the change of the disrupted energy. We are the change of plagues going about the earth, which really, really, in many ways, are a hallucination. And I get in a lot of discussions about this. People write me all the time. I want you to, if you watch this video, please share it. I'd like you to write below what else you'd like me to talk about. And I do go and re read the notes on these after 
they've been posted even when I'm not live anymore. So send your suggestions. How can I make this better for you? What else would you like to know about? Um, I'm trying to answer questions that come to me on a regular basis and I want everyone to realize we need to alkalize our bodies because A, if we're breathing every day, doing some breath work like the Wim Hof breathing in the morning, the Wim Hof breathing actually makes us alkaline, believe it or not. And that alkalinity helps change how we face our day. It helps, how, it helps, how, helps change how we deal with our challenges. So this is just a nice trick using a tiny pinch of baking soda in a hot toddy, in our drinking bottle, in our coffee um, to help bring us into an alkaline state and help us be more clear. So I want to encourage everybody to do this. I, we will see you again um, soon, probably tomorrow. And I just want to encourage everyone, eyes open, heart open. Listen to your heart. Your heart is what is going to tell you the truth. And if you're caught in rage and you're caught in grief, bless those things and cancel, release, and let go. Know that those are part of an old narrative. They're part of an old human data bank that's under the surface, that's been driving the boat for a long, long time. So it's time for us to drive the boat in new ways. We are the Rainbow Tribe. We are the 144,000. We are the change we wish to see. The more you listen to your heart, live the life that you really desire in your dreams. What do you choose to create? What do you choose to become? What do you choose to express? As you become who you truly are, you will attract others who love you for who you truly are and who recognize the truth that you're sharing. So let's walk this walk together. Let's be in our hearts. Let's breathe, smile, and love. Let's make ourselves alkaline through meditation, through breathing, through using these types of beverages. And let us hold the vibration of a new earth founded in peace, love, and plenty for all. Okay, love you all and see you soon.